In this video, we will talk about how to find the diameter and the radius when given circumference. The top of a glass coffee table is a circle. The circumference is 15.7 feet. What is the diameter of the table and what is the radius of the table? Use the formulas C equals pi times diameter and C equals two times pi times radius to help you. The first thing we're gonna do is find diameter. Anytime we're given the circumference, we always wanna start by writing the formula for circumference. Next, we will plug in the information that we know. We know the circumference is equal to 15.7, and we also know that pi is equal to 3.14. What we don't know is what the diameter is. So we'll just leave that alone. After we fill in the information given to us in the circumference formula, we're ready to start solving for the missing piece, in this case, the diameter. The first thing we will do is perform the inverse operation, which is division. I'm gonna divide both sides by 3.14, since 3.14 and diameter are being multiplied together. When I divide both sides by 3.14, I get five is equal to the diameter. So, long story short, anytime we want to find the diameter when given circumference, we can take circumference and divide it by pi to equal diameter. Next, let's use the radius formula. Starting off the same way, I will still write down the formula for circumference using radius and fill in the information given. I'm still going to use 15.7 as the circumference. Two is given to us, and so is pi, 3.14. What I don't know is radius. Next, I will continue to perform the inverse operations to solve for radius. I will divide both sides by 3.14, similar to how I started off the previous example. 15.7 divided by 3.14 we know is equal to five. But according to this formula, I still have the number two left and I still have the letter R left for radius. I still need to perform one more inverse operation. So I'm gonna divide both sides by two since two is being multiplied with R. Five divided by two will give me 2.5. So 2.5 is equal to the radius. Again, long story short, to get the radius when given circumference, all I need to do is take the circumference, divide by pi, and then divide again by two to find the radius.